Hello YouTube, I'm here to do a review on the Vibram Five Fingers Bikila. I did an unboxing video uh, about three days ago, and I said in that video I was going to do a review that day, but uh, I did a run, and then I had to go to a wedding uh, that same day, and it, it we turned to a weekend getaway, and so I, I ran in them, but I did not have time to make my review on this shoe. And so I have about five or six miles under the belt with these, and I finally had time to sit down to do the review, and so I'm going to do a comparison and talk about it a little bit. Um, I bought these shoes, one, because I love the from Five Fingers. They're one of the best shoes I've ever had in my life. Um, secondly, it was because I do a lot of road running, getting ready for a mini marathon, and I use my KSOs because uh, they were, felt really good, but uh, I kept on getting blisters. And I didn't want to use the Komodo Sport because I use those for weightlifting and other things, and like Frisbee and Ultimate Frisbee. And so I'm like, well, let's get the Bikilas and do another shoe review. So I got them, and I love them. They are incredibly awesome. I have not, I've gotten, like I said, about six miles into them, five or six, and they are an awesome road running shoe. I really enjoy them. They felt great. Uh, no complaints, no blisters. It was fantastic. Like, the only way I can compare it is like how the KSO Trek or the Trek Sport is to trails, this is to the road. Um, I ran in them and these pods, it, it just it just felt great. Just I had a great running, I felt strong as I ran in these. Um, and very comfortable. Very comfortable. The only thing I can compare it to in comfort is the Komodo Sport with that soft insole and the material. The um, material is a lot softer than I thought it would be. It's, I mean, it's like cotton, how soft it is. Uh, it did keep my feet really warm, which is good. In the winter, I'm definitely going to be running these a lot. But uh, I was shocked how warm it kept my foot. It didn't affect my running at all, but I wore them casually a little bit, and I noticed it, but it is not that big a deal. I just noticed it's slightly warmer. Um... Like I said earlier in the unboxing, the pods were great. I got a lot of great traction on the road. The impact was fantastic. Ran great. Didn't feel any problems on the asphalt or the sidewalk or whatever. Um, I really liked this heel cup because one of the things I don't like about the KSO, the KSO Trek, is it just kind of stops and you can really feel that. Try to burp. You really feel that strap all the way around, and. Uh, it's not that noticeable, but sometimes it's a little annoying when you have to tighten it and you feel it dig into your heel. But uh, I really did like this heel cup. And the Komodo Sport, which I have right here, uh, also has that heel cup. And uh, I, lo I love the Komodo Sport. This is my favorite shoe. I did everything in this shoe for a long time, running, weightlifting, everything, because it was just so comfortable. And... Uh, I can only compare the Bikila to the Komodo Sport. Now, if you look, the sole is really different, really different. But comfort-wise, they are almost tied. The material on top is really comfortable on both of them. Uh, the This does not have any netting where this has a little bit like right here and on the back a little bit. Uh, this one's a little more denim -y. This one's cotton. But still, they both have the heel cup. See if we can get a look in there. They're both really soft on the inside of the shoe, and they're both they're my favorite shoes probably of the five fingers is the Bikila and the Komodo Sport. I have the ones I have. Um, I suggest if you're going to be doing a lot of road running or treadmill running stuff like that, uh, get these. These are fantastic. Uh, you can wear them as a casual shoe. I did for a couple of days just to wear them, in, just to break them in get used to them. They were very comfortable and uh, I, I like them a lot. So if you're, if you're going to do a lot more road running, uh, get these. You can still run in dirt. You can still run in trails. I did a little bit of that too in my miles. Um, it's not specific for that. It's made more for road running. But if you, if you just want to buy one, uh, I would say this is a pretty good one. Do your research on the other ones though, but for ro specific road running, treadmill running, a little casual wear, uh, this is a good buy. I highly recommend it. Um, so, yeah, that's my take on the Five Finger Bikila. I hope this video helped you research about Five Fingers, and it's a uh
it's a great shoe. I suggest get as many as you want or whatever fits your personality. But uh, I hope this video helped you guys. So, see you around.